Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Search Engine Optimization, we will discuss about Robots Meta Tag. What Robots Meta Tag is all about, why we need to use Robots Meta Tags and what are the different types of Robots Meta Tags and the resources as well. Let's get started with it. What basically is Robots Meta Tag? Robots meta tag is basically a text file made available on the server primarily to tell search engines to what to index and what not to index. It is basically a text file of a few lines, about three to four lines, of course, depending upon the requirements. What basically robots meta tag is done is it is actually created by the website owner and the the file, the text file, robots.txt file is uploaded to the server as well as may also be submitted to Google through the Google search console to inform and to notify Google, the search engine, what are the pages that need to be crawled, what are the pages that need to be indexed and what not to be indexed. You can specify both of them ensuring that you know Google is informed about it and when Google crawls and indexes pages of your website, it takes notice of the contents of this text file and does the crawling and indexing accordingly. Let's get started with it and see what basically are allow all access robots.txt meta file looks as well. This is actually a two line file robots.txt file where a user agent basically means it is actually the search engine bots, the search engine crawlers, the search engine spiders. When you specify an asterisk or a star, it means that you are not specifying any particular search engine's name. It can be a Google, it can be Yahoo, it can be a Bing or it can be any other search engine. By specifying an asterisk or a star, you are mentioning that you know the site is open and available for crawling and indexing by all the search engines. And when you say disallow and there is a blank here, there is no information here beside disallow. It means my website has nothing to disallow, my website has nothing to hide, my website has nothing not to be indexed. It means I am giving a complete access to all the search engines to come crawl and index all the pages of my website. These are the two lines that you actually put it in a text file, name it as robots.txt and upload it to the server where your source pages of your website exist. This is allowing all access to all the robots of your site. Now what to exclude? What to exclude? What robots exclude all access it means that you know again the first line is the same user agent is star allowing all search engines but when you say disallow on a backslash it means you are not allowing any search engine to come and crawl your website to come and index your website this is actually a serious problem when you do this when you have a website you obviously need the search engines to come and crawl your index pages you, you cannot do this when you have pages need to be indexed. There is a practice that users, most of them, website publishers, owners or developers do is when they are building the website. When they are building the website and when the site is live on the domain and still under construction, what you can do is you can give this tag so that the, the under construction pages will not be indexed by Google. Once the site is completed, it is live, it is tested and it is available for all the users across the world, then you remove this tag and remove this line, the backslash and upload the page again. This can be used only when website or a web application or a web portal that you are building is under construction, it is live on the domain and is still under testing it is not complete but once it is completed you can remove this backslash and upload the file again this actually what robots exclude all access is concerned robots restricted access now you may have on the server the complete website but there may also be some files and folders that you do not want Google or any other search engine to crawl and index those pages. In that particular scenario what you can do is user agent asterisk that is all user agent disallow this folder, disallow this folder and disallow this folder. It means what Google and search engines will do is when they crawl the and index the pages, they will not index and crawl these pages and take it into the index box. These 
pages and files are removed from indexing and crawling and if you have something or some files and folders on the server on the website that you do not want Google to crawl and index you can specify this this is an restricted access and this file can be uploaded to the server with the same name robots.txt a good resource to understand how robots.txt works and what are the key features, the key elements, what are the best practices that you need to know as far as robots.txt file is concerned. This is a very good site robots.txt.org. You will get the complete information to understand more about robots.txt file and how it needs to be used. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is robots.txt meta tag? Robots all allow access, robots exclude all access and robots meta resource. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.